cooked little salsita that we got here. It already smells fantastic. I can smell it going into the fire. Welcome back my good people. I ordered online from Wild Fork and was impressed with their free two day shipping. It got here fast, so let me show you a couple of the items I ordered, then we'll do some prep work. So we're gonna leave the thighs as is, because uh, they're marinated, so we won't open them up until uh, we're gonna put them on the grill. However, we're gonna go ahead and trim the uh, picanha here, and uh, just a little bit off the fat cap, and we're gonna render that fat uh, into uh, our uh, basting sauce. The Peri Peri marinade originates from Africa and is a spicy, flavorful marinade made from onion, garlic, peppers, lemon, paprika, oregano, red wine, and oil. Picanha, however, was made popular by Brazilian barbecue and is a cut from the top sirloin area of the cow. There are several ways you can cook it. One way is cutting the fat cap off and cutting it into long strips of steak, which is known as churrasco steak in Brazil. If you're lucky, you may find this cut at your local Walmart. It's a cut that looks very similar to what we know in South Texas as sirloin fajita because it comes from the same area. Today, however, we are doing ours different. We are trimming a little fat off the fat cap to render into tallow for our basting sauce. Then we will sear the entire piece of picanha before we cut them into steaks to finish them off. We started off with W sauce as a binder, but I quickly ran out, so I added A1 sauce to finish off as a binder. It will be the first layer of flavor that we'll add to our meat, as well as allowing the seasoning to stick more to the meat. And next, we'll be adding our very own squash bark. It's available at our website, link in the video description. It's basically a salt, pepper, garlic, onion, chili powder rub that will help us form a nice crust when we sear our picanha. All done with our picanha, now we'll chop some green onion and some cloves of garlic. Then we will grab one ancho pepper and one guajillo pepper and cut off the stem. We'll place them in a bowl with some water and warm it up in the microwave. Once the warm water softens up the skin, we'll place them on the cutting board and finely chop them up. Once we are done, we'll add half a bundle of parsley and finely chop it up. Let me just put the parsley in the plate and it looks like we got our peppers, our green onions, our garlic and parsley all chopped up. Let's go outside and turn on the pit. Nearing the end of our cook, time to put the uh, picanha on the fat side, start searing it, and then we'll cut it into steaks. A pretty good sear it's not even reached a hundred yet but we're gonna take it off we're gonna cut it into steaks and then put them back on the the grill 
Okay, look at that. Way still undercooked, but we got a good crust on the outside. Let's cut about an inch each steak and then put them back on the grill. Let's put them back on the grill. Okay, so they're cooking, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till one side uh, gets cooked, flip it over, and then we'll begin to baste it with this butter, um, compound butter. Chicken is done. We have it just keeping warm on the side. They're getting a crust on the other side, so I think we're good. Then we'll begin to baste. Put a little bit of bread in there just to give it a try. The uh, cooked little salsita that we got here. And we'll start basting this beautifulness right here. It already smells fantastic. I can smell it going into the fire. Okay, so here's the tray, guys. We got everything out. So uh, let's see what we're going to try first. Okay, so I guess I'm going to pick this one here. Okay. Nice and pink. Let me give it a try. Mmm. It's super tender. It's great and juicy. Oh my god. Perfect. You get a piece of chicken. There we go. Here's a chicken. Let me take a, a bite. See how the bite through is. Perfect bite through. Oh my God. A little bit of a kick, a little bit of spiciness, but totally, totally awesome. That beef tallow mix with the butter and the herbs was killer. I was very impressed with the pieces of meat provided by Wild Fork. They were very reasonably priced and I will very likely order these again. All in all, a very fun cook. I really enjoy using that old country vaquero grill. Thanks for joining me once again, my good people. Hope to see you all in our Tuesday night chats for more giveaways soon. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. We will see you again very soon.